Good morning, my friends. It's Saturday, December 11th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun, Kate. I have with me this beautiful Advent wreath. And we're nearing the end of the second week of Advent. Time is flying by. I also have with me this beautiful angel here. Our last day with the angel of earth and sky, with nature flowing out of her wings, and sunlight and stars dancing around her. Nature is full of angels, I do believe that. communicating its beauty to us all the time. We continue today in the Gospel of Matthew and we're getting very apocalyptic. The end. The disciples are saying to Jesus, What's going to happen? How are we going to know when you come again? And he says, there's going to be a lot of bad stuff that happens. There's going to be wars, earthquakes, natural disasters. People are going to be drawn away from me. But hold fast. There'll be so many bad things that happen that some people will forget how to love. Isn't that an amazing thing? Some people will forget how to love. But those who hold fast will be ready for me when I come again. Because at the very end, after all these, what he calls birth pangs, after all this pain and struggle, I will come again. So there's always been this understanding both in Jesus's words and in the book of Revelation and in the prophet Daniel's book in the Hebrew scriptures, this notion of this great struggle before the final end, this great wrestling and I love this term, birth pangs. Um, as a mother myself who tried to have children naturally and, and did, I, it was the most painful thing of my life, but also the most incredible. But I did think I was going to die. And I thought it was going to just be torn apart. And it ended up being new life. So there's this notion that there will be this great wrestling and struggling as the earth in all of its brokenness um, comes finally to reconciliation and then and then Christ comes um, to usher us into a new age of the kingdom of God. So there's this sense that God is with us now but also we're waiting we're waiting and we have to go through some rough stuff. And I hope that helps you when you struggle, that it's sort of part of the process that we're gonna feel some pain and we're gonna have some doubts and we're gonna really struggle, but it's okay. Christ is coming and the end is good in all the stories. The end is always very good. Let us pray. Almighty God, as you bring us to the end of the second week of Advent, we give you thanks for these strange stories and truths about what it is we have to endure and struggle through before we see you face to face again. Give us courage when we are wrestling with struggle and suffering to understand that it is temporary and that it is something that we must pass through and not to dwell on it or give it too much of our attention, but simply to know this is part of the great birth pangs. Give us wisdom today to be generous and kind and to offer ourselves to others. Guide us, Lord, on this day. Bless the sick, the hungry, those who are mentally ill or addicted, those who suffer from financial woes. Bless this world with your grace and peace. Drive us into your kingdom. 
Help us to remain faithful in the journey. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.